meteorologist Rob Nucatola. Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. That is uh, a little bit more of a summery looking 24 hour temperature cast. Normal morning temperatures should be in the mid 60s this time of the year. Normal daytime highs 89, 90 ish. I think we're going to beat that 89, 90 ish. We got to 90 yesterday. We probably climb a little higher up into the 90s today and each day this week. Got lots of hot coming our way over the next several days. All the showers out west. They are still out west. We'd love to get some of those around here to help out those thirsty lawns, gardens and greens, but it's not going to happen. The setup is just wrong for us to get any kind of rain, so we get hot. Those thirsty lawns are going to get a little extra brown out there. Don't forget to water those plants. They're going to need the help. We're at 60 this morning in Valdosta, 63 in Thomasville, 64 in Tallahassee, so a little warm out there to get started, but not uncomfortable, and we don't have that crazy humidity that we are so accustomed to in the summer months. It will slowly start to ratchet up over the next couple of days, but maybe for another couple of days we'll keep that humidity in check so it won't feel so extra gross outside. 68 in Dothan is one of the warmer spots, 59 in Cross City, one of the cooler. Most of us are between like 62 and 65 out there this morning, and there isn't a whole lot of wind out there. I think today a little different than what we had at the end of last week with that persistent east breeze that made it feel maybe a little cooler than it was. The thing working in our favor these dew point temperatures. We use that to measure how much moisture is in the air as the dew points climb higher into the 60s and get near 70. That's that icky sticky that reaches out and grabs you. We don't have that yet. We shouldn't have that maybe for another couple of days. We'll keep those dew points lower so it won't feel so extra uncomfortable outside. Now higher pressure is going to be ruling the entire southeast for several more days and as long as it's where it is that causes the air to sink as the air sinks it dries. It makes it hard for the clouds to sustain themselves, so let alone get any shower chances. So as long as we've got these big blue H's across the southeast, and we should for another couple of days, I think it's going to be really hard to talk about any kind of shower chances. We had better shots last week with that east breeze bringing in some of the moisture. We don't have that breeze this week, so I think what's going to happen is we stay high and we stay dry and we watch those temperatures climb a little faster and a little farther. Out on the Gulf today, winds out of the east first, southwest later, 5 to 15. Here's a look at the tide times. We're doing the low tides in a little while. They'll get started and finish up before 9. 60s with mostly clear skies. Sun will be up at 638 this morning. I think it's going to be at least the low 90s for daytime highs. Hopefully we cap it around 91, 92. Not too much warmer than that. Tonight it'll be more mid 60s. We'll leave the rain chances at 10% or less today and the next several days. Notice how those daytime highs want to climb. I hope I don't have to adjust them up much higher.